Hello friends and welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are making some amazing Tinkercad circuit tutorials. Today we are going to start working on making a police car on a breadboard that you guys can then build in real life and have fun with. So let's get started. First we will need our breadboard and hopefully you've checked out our other videos on YouTube so this is not your first time making a circuit because we are using the Arduino Uno to make these police lights. You can always pause it and check it out um, to make it without the Arduino, the police lights. Today we are going to make it with the Arduino. So here we go. I'm going to pull out two lights and I'm actually going to show you a couple different ways to do this. I'm actually going to do my two lights on the top and the bottom because I know where this project is going. We're going to put some motors and some wheels on this and then this will be sort of the front of our car. Now our police cars, they have one red and usually one blue. So I can put one of these as blue right here. And now I need to wire up my LEDs and I'm gonna program them so they flash between each other. So the first thing that we should wire up is our ground that will come out of our Arduino Uno. And if you recall from some of our previous videos, the Arduino Uno has three grounds. One is here on the digital side and two are down here on the power rail. I always use black for connecting things into ground. And then I can connect straight in to my cathode, which is the short leg. And I can connect these across, so now these two cathodes are connected together. All right. And now we can pre um, connect these into our Arduino Uno. Though I am realizing I do want to connect this through a resistor. So I'm going to put the resistor over here and then I'll connect it that way so that we can all see it nicely. This just makes sure that our LEDs don't get too much current, which is always a bonus. All right, so I'll just use my digital pin two for my red LED, which goes right here. I'm gonna color that pink. I don't color it red because red is usually reserved for your hot or your five volts straight out of a battery or straight out of the Uno. So for here, I'm gonna use pink for my red and I'll pro put my second wire from pin three into the anode of the blue one and I'm gonna color that one blue. All right, so that is the wiring and now we are going to program it. So I'm just gonna shift this over so you guys can see the wiring and then we will go into our code and we can use the blocky programming for this, which is great. In fact, I challenge you to pause the video and see if you can write a program that will blink your red and blue LEDs. This was similar to a challenge that we did last time as we wired in a simple LED circuit. So the way that we're going to do this is my red is pin 2, so I can set pin 2 to high. That will turn my LED on. I can wait a quarter of a second, let's say, or maybe a half of a second, 0.5 seconds. And then I can set pin two to low. Oops, this is the wrong one. I want this guy, set pin two to low. And just like last time when I set pin two to low, which is turning off the red, I can turn on the blue. So I could set pin three to high, and then I would have my wait. So I'd wait a half a second here. And then I'm gonna flip it all around. So now I'm going to go to my output, and I will set my pin three to low, and it'll come right back up here and I'll set pin two to high. Or if you like them being all together, you could put this down here. Oops, and you can put the weight at the bottom. So that's sort of another option. It's the same code though. And we can run this code and we can see that it's sort of turning these on and off. Although my blue is not turning off quite like I like it. And I'm looking at it and that's because I have a pin zero here. So let's stop that simulation. So I put two to high, three or two to low, three to high, and then I need three to low and two to high. So let's try that. There we go. So now I have these flashing lights, which is a lot of fun. And you could do this. This could be one of the ways that you put it in your car. Now there's another way that we could do this, and that is using a different type of LED. 
That's a red, green, blue LED. You'll notice that this LED has four legs. One of them is red, one of them is the cathode that goes to our ground, one of them is blue, and one of them is green. If we wanted each side to have a red and a blue, we could use this LED, all right? So I'm gonna challenge you to pause the video right now and see if you can figure out how to wire this up. You're gonna have four wires because you gotta do the red and the blue. You can ignore the green and you have that for both sides or maybe you can think of a way to do it with even fewer wires if you connect things together. We'll see what you come up with. All right, so we are back. I am going to delete what I have going on here so that I can start over and make my program a little differently. If you were happy with that, keep it as it is. If you wanted to make a few modifications to what would be your car, let's do that. So I'm gonna take two of these LEDs and I'm gonna put them here. Again, my car, this will be the front of my car and the back of my car and I'll sort of drive off to the right. So let's wire up our red and our green and our blue and of course the stuff going into our cathode. So I am going to grab a resistor so I can hook up the cathodes together and we'll do that, I think we'll do it right here. And then we can pull this over, the cathode is that second one. I'm going to color that black, Oops, color that black. And then I'm also going to wire straight across because that goes into the cathode here. So now both of my cathodes are connected to ground through a resistor which protects them. And what I could do is I can come out of two and I can connect two into the red of this guy right here. All right, so it, then when I turn two on, red will go on here. I'm gonna color this pink, I think. And then if I wanted to do two things at once, I could use this and have pin two also turn on blue, which is right over here. So I could also have this connect right here. And that means when red is on up top, blue is on on the bottom. And I'm gonna color this maybe some sort of a turquoise. All right, so these sort of go together. And then I could come out of pin three and I could go into the blue of this one. Let's see, there's blue is on in like this. And I'm gonna color this like a darker blue. So I sort of know that this guy, and now this one, think about where I would connect this blue to. So this one is gonna go over to the red. All right, and I'll color that Let's see, maybe orange, sort of a reddish tone. So now when blue is on here, red is on down here. So that's sort of a clever way to do this. I could have used four pins. I could have done a red and a blue for this LED. And I could have pinned in a red and a blue for this LED. So I could have put pin four and five into this LED. This is just an easy way to control both of them at once. And it makes us let, write a little bit less code. So let's look at our code here. This is the code that we had before where we were doing the red and the blue colored LEDs. We could just see what this looks like and you'll notice that I didn't even have to change any code. I have just changed my red and my blue. So now I have a red and a blue light on both sides, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that. Another thing you could do to change this really easily if you had extra RGB LEDs, you can just plug in some extra ones on the same spots and they will also light up because they're all connected. So you could have a fun light bar on the front of your car and it sort of depends on how many lights you would want on the front of that car. I don't know what is your favorite. You could put even four lights on here just like that and you get these beautiful lots of lights and red and green, or red and blue, which is a lot of fun. Now next time we are gonna add an alarm or a siren to our um, little police circuit, and then we'll add some motors. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna keep building on these things, so make sure that you keep your project as you go. Thanks so much, friends, and we'll see you soon.